Hello everyone, this is TJ and I'm going to be showing you how to create a custom qualification and batch assign it to Mechanical Turk workers. First thing you need to do is create the custom qualification. This is my Sandbox account. You can do this on the Sandbox or on the production site. First thing you do is click Manage, then click on Qualification Types. You can see I already have one here, so I'm going to create a new one. This qualification will be, ju will be called Batch Qual. Description can be something descriptive. I apologize for my bird. And click Create. Now it'll take a minute or so for it to show up. You want to make sure it's here before you continue. So we're just going to go ahead and keep refreshing. There it is. Okay. After refreshing, you can see the batch qual has shown up. So I'm going to copy this just so that I don't forget the name of it. Next, you go to Workers. And you see I only have one worker who's worked for me. Click on Download CSV. Since I did this in the past, it came up instantly, but it should take a moment or so to generate. Then once it's generated, you click here to download the Workers file. And you can see here, you can assign a qualification type by putting the number under the Update column. You can revoke it by putting the word revoke under the update column, and you can block or unblock a worker by putting the word block or unblock in the block status column. Once it's finished downloading, you open it up in Excel. So you can see this is the only worker who's worked for me. Any additional workers, you would simply add them line by line. Since those aren't actual workers, I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Next, you look for the current and update columns for the qualification you just created. Since my CSV had already been generated, I do not have current and update columns for the qualification I just made. So I'm going to go ahead and create them from this qualification that no longer exists. So all you do is replace the name Fancy Qual with the one that we have on our clipboard, batch qual. That's the one we just created. Do that for both the current and the update. And then under the update column, we're going to put the numerical number that we want to update the qualification to. Do this for every worker that you want to add, and then save the file. Say yes to save it as a CSV, and close Excel. Next, go back to your workers, click on Upload CSV, choose File, and choose that CSV file that we just updated, and click Upload CSV. It will take a moment to process. Once it's done, you can see Assign One Qualification Score. Obviously, this number will be the number of workers that you added. Click Yes. And then it says it'll take a few moments. Usually by the time you open up that worker or refresh, you should see it assigned. If you wish to revoke that qualification, go back to your Workers tab. You can either download the CSV again, or if you haven't added any additional workers, you can open the file that you just updated, delete the 100 from the Update column, move it to the current column, change the update column to revoke, just like it says on this page. Put revoke under the update column for your qualification type. So we have put that word right there. Click Save, say Yes, and close Excel. Then go back to your workers, upload the CSV, And after it processes, you should see revoke one qualification. So we say yes to continue. It says it'll take a few moments. If we open up that worker, we can see the qualification is no longer there. Hopefully this helped. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out on Slack, Discord, email, 
Reddit, or any other way you know to reach me. Thanks for watching!